Wow, look at that guys, today's catch. We got 51 fish total. For two hours? Yeah, for two hours, 51 fish. Not bad, huh? This is how you uh, clean the fish. Mm -hmm. And you can take Yeah, scale it first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it's gonna taste so good. So number one is scale it out with mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're gonna help you out here too in a minute. Mm -hmm. Look at that guys. See, use the scissors, it's actually mm -hmm. faster to get all the fin out. And you can dry this fish too in the sun for like a day, mm -hmm. right? Uh, salted dry fish mm -hmm. is so good. So that's how you do it. Well, we were just there for two hours. We caught like 51 fish. Um, last year we caught what was 110? Yeah, oh, 100. So, but uh, we'll definitely go back again here. Yes. So guys, uh, it's uh, at San Hollow. Like I say, it's only about 10 minutes from my house. It's a state park. And these fish only bite in the hot weather in the summertime, like starting in middle May or June, all the way up to um, mid-September. And by that place, uh, bass, it's all year round. We didn't try to catch any bass. We just use a jig, um, artificial for those. And I tried out one day here to catch some bass. And they're bigger fish too. They have largemouth bass and smallmouth bass over there. So we'll definitely do that one day. But I just love to eat these crappies, bluegill, mm -hmm. sunfish. They're good. They're so good. Good eating fish. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Definitely nice to have a glove to do this, to clean this out, so it's not, not going to poke you. So, uh, I can do this pretty quick now. A little bit windy, but it feels good. Yeah, fresh air. It's like 95 degrees, but um, with the wind and part of the cloud, it's a perfect weather to be outside. Who said we don't get dirty? <laughs> we actually clean fish too. So. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's how you clean the fish. 
So the part one was a little bit fishing. Hopefully, hopefully you guys watched that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got so many fish today. It was just for fun. I don't know. The funniest part when Bopa was trying to take a nap, and the second she lay down, the fishing pole start. Uh, the fish start biting. Uh, yeah, I didn't have time to do a lot of stuff. All I do is unhook the bait and put in a new bait for Bopa. Look at that guys, 51 fish <laughs> in 2 hours, we got 51 fish. So the secret to get a slime out is wash it with salt. Mm -hmm. Especially have catfish. Catfish has a lot of slime. This fish didn't have a lot of slime in there. Oh, vinegar. Okay. Nice. So that was a fun day, honey. Good job. Out of 51 fish, you caught about maybe 35. Mm -hmm. And I caught like 16 or so. Good job. Yeah, this is part two. Part one was... Us catching the fish at the lake. Part two is us cleaning the fish at Clean home and gonna yeah, fry that. Here we go. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Deep fried. Yeah, it's so good. All right, so golden brown, that's when you flip them. Look at that, it's looking good. Ah, I can't wait to dig in. Well, hello. Look at that. Nice and crunchy. Can you believe it? Two hours, 51 fish. Bopai and I caught these. Look, so good. Ooh, it's a little hot. Just got out of the deep fryer. Mm -hmm. So uh, dip it with the tete mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Very good, yeah. Like that. But like, I'm going Garlic powder, uh, salt, uh, garlic salt. That's all you need to put when yeah. you deep fry these. Think, you don't want to overload with any uh, spices or ingredients. So, no, why did that score one be with us? Ciao, yum, little more like it, 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 we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, uh, push the subscribe button. That way we'll bring you more video in the future. We'd like to thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And happy Monday. Bye bye. Later on, I'll see you in video. So good. Yum, yum, yum.